Hi, President and First Lady has have tested positive for the coronavirus, and the President made his announcement in the early morning, and、um, through his Twitter account, his Twitter, and and the President said tonight, First Lady and I tested positive for COVID nineteen. We will begin our quarantine and recover process immediately. And this is the tweet in the early morning. And based on the current data, that person does have some mild symptoms of COVID-19 infection. And meanwhile, First Lady also have her announcement on her tweet account. Uh, he's the first tweeter. As too many Americans has done this year, President I are quarantined at home after testing positive for COVID nineteen. We are feeling good. And about four hours ago, and the first lady、uh, does tell people that she has mild symptoms. And that is a unfortunate outcome from top leader in the United States, and this is really have huge impact in many aspect of the United States. And first of all, let's look at this、uh, chance, the chance for the president and the prediction for his outcome. And these several factors will have impact on president. Outcome from this、uh, illness.、Uh, first boy is his age. Is and his age is seventy four, and that in this age, he has not not of a chance to get much more severe、uh, outcome compared to people at the age of eighteen twenty, and he will have five times greater risk of hospital hospitalization. And the nine times greater risk of deaths from COVID nineteen、uh, symptoms, and also the person have relative overweight, and we know the overweight or obesity have great chance of house hospitalization from COVID nineteen infection, and of course male also has is a.、Uh, Uh, risk effect in terms of the COVID nineteen infection, and that's is a personal consequence from the COVID nineteen infection. And on the other hand, during this period,、uh, the person have contact with many top officials from U.S. government, and I wish some of them would not have. Get this virus or contact this virus will get、uh, some infections, and also a few days ago,、uh, President Trump has、uh, debate with Democratic President candidate Joe Biden, and this stay at same stage for more than ninety minutes, and even so they are、uh, six feet apart. But you know the debate is very extensive, and the man have a chance the virus must will be spread from President Trump on the stage, and the virus can man spread, and which may cause the potential that、uh, the Vice President Joe Biden have potential to catch this virus. And this is a very, very significant event. Event is、uh, is even so un- unfort- unfortunate, but it does happen. Does not o- we can learn so many from this event. And first of all, that we know this person Trump as a most powerful people in the world. And so he 
was was caught by this virus. And so for ordinary people, everyday people like us, we need to do shopping, we need to go to work. Sometimes we need also need to take subways to go to work. We have significant higher chance to to cat to be caught by this virus. And first of all, that indicates the virus has no boundaries. And no matter you are rich or poor, weak or powerful. And so everybody have the chance to get this virus. And on the other hand, we need to protect ourselves from this virus infection. And uh, there are many, many papers you can just Google how to protect your, yourself from this virus infection. And the most simple way may be that you just uh, wash your hand and practice social distancing. And with all these basic procedures, and I think a great chance for you to uh, prevent yourself from this virus infection. And also that in this season that we are close to this uh, uh, flu season and this high chance that we can men also get this virus infection. We need to take very precautious ways to have flu vaccine. So when you get flu like symptoms, you, have, you can have less chance to say you have this flu and more likely have a COVID-19 infection. Yeah, that's, I wish everyone have happy and healthy life. And that's the video for today. Thank you.